Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek has launched a new variant of DeepSeek V3, and it is not a new variant of DeepSeek R1. Instead, it is a new version of DeepSeek V3, which is their general purpose, non reasoning model. The new model is an upgrade over the original V3, and DeepSeek almost regularly updates their models with new characteristics just like what they have been doing with DeepSeek V2.5. So, what this new one brings to the table is that it is now significantly better at mathematics and front-end coding. I mean, it was already pretty great, and now it is supposed to be even better at front-end and mathematical tasks, which is kind of awesome. The new model is openly available on Hugging Face, and it is also available on their DeepSeek platform. The new model can also solve more mathematical problems without reasoning. It is said to be a post-trained version of the original DeepSeek V3. And generally, post-trained versions perform much better than the base variants. You can try the new model on their site for free and make sure that you don't turn on the Deep Think option as that will enable the R1 model and not the new V3 model. Now. Since we are here, let's test it out as well, and let's see how well it performs. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research. But what's really cool is their AI playground, where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. now. Back to the video. Now, these are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. Anyway, the first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's keep it a pass. The next one is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word when put together spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. It is expected because it isn't doing reasoning. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this one is correct. This is probably the first non-reasoning model to pass this. I mean, what this model does is that it automatically starts to reason a bit in the question where it's needed, which is kind of insane, and helps it pass this question. This is awesome for sure. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is this pattern recognition question. The answer to this should be 1999. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also not correct. So, let's keep this a fail. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. 
How many sisters does Sally have? Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is a pass. The next question is, Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, then this works pretty well. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to use it, then this works well. And it is also quite detailed with a bunch of features, which is the first time I'm seeing such generation for a non-reasoning model. So, this is great. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, so this looks amazing. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, Write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. The ball should be affected by gravity and friction, and it must bounce off the rotating walls realistically. Let's send it and see. Here's the code, and if we try to run it, then this works well. The ball is bouncing well, and with correct physics. So, this is a pass. The last question is, Write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to run this, then this works quite well. So, this is also a pass. Now this is the final chart, and this model is amazing. I mean, in the non-reasoning model segment, this is the new king. I mean, it can do a smaller chunk of reasoning on its own, which makes it kind of amazing for the harder tasks. None of the models who aren't reasoning models are able to pass this many questions. GPT 4.5 is also not able to pass this many questions. Many people comment saying, Oh, a non-reasoning model cannot pass such stuff. But now, you know that non-reasoning models can also pass such questions. It just takes a bit of better research rather than making models pricier. This new model is pretty amazing and makes everything else obsolete at the price it is being offered and its open weights. DeepSeek hasn't shared benchmarks and stuff in their own fashion, as they generally don't do such stuff of showing small numbers and fabricating numbers, unlike other AI companies, which is what I like about them. Their work speaks for itself, and this new model is probably a lot better than models like Grok, 3 or 3.7 Sonnet, non-thinking on coding, which is kind of amazing. I hope that we get multimodality with it soon as well. I really like this new upgrade, as it makes the model so much better. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.